AFTV. You know, I've seen this gentleman before, right, over over in the UK. And um, you're here in Dubai. It was a fantastic um, attendance by the fans. When you consider this was just a last minute game. Yes. Yeah, uh, first, we everybody from Dubai, because I live here, we want to thank you for coming here, showing your support, because what you've done with AFT, it's mm. massive. Every time I go back to UK, you courteous enough to give me time to get on the <coughs> platform as well to voice my opinions, which is amazing. I've been to Baku, so what you've done is incredible. You've managed to reach an audience of people you've not managed to reach before to voice their opinions. Mm. So thank you very much. That's what we want to say first anyway. And it was good to see so many um, top Arsenal players here. When you think, as I said, last minute game, Ozil's here, Lacazette's here. He didn't just pull them off. Um, I, I was really looking at the game and thinking to myself, under Arsene Wenger, Number one, I'm not sure he would have played this no during the season. And number two, I'm not sure he would have bought Ozil, Lacazette and those guys here for this time. But Una Emery's like, Yo, you guys got to play. And, and, you know, they played more than just one half and very good workout for them. This is what I like about Emery. He's come with a different regime, different mentality. You've hit the nail on the head. If it would have been Wenger, he would have rested the big key players and he wouldn't have brought them. But I was surprised when I seen Lacazette starting, Leno starting. All the, and it, it was good to see Suarez actually get in game as well. So I was yep. actually surprised with all these as well. And what's also promising as well, the youngsters what are coming through that Amakachi on the right hand side, yeah. he played really well, very direct. And 54, I think, what's his name? Um, Is it John Jules? Not Joe. Smith-Rowe? Not Smith Rowe, he's on loan. Yeah. Um, the midfielder, mm. Shep, him, he looks decent as well, right foot, left foot, he looks very composed on the ball. So it's looking promising, the youngest is what we're bringing through as well. So I'm really impressed with that as well. And promising from now till the end of the season, we've got a chance of getting into the Champions League places, either through the Europa League or through the league, which for you, you know, they're both difficult, but which for you looks the easier path? The easier path, I would say the Premiership run, but knowing our run, our away form <laughs> is like a Blackman at Crown Court, suspect. So we have to, <laughs> so, so we have to work on our away form. The only game I'm worrying about of our last seven games is the Wolves game. If we can nick a draw against Watford Hattie. will be tough as well away. Yeah. Saw so Troy Deeney the other day. He said he's doing no favours. You know that he goes. You know they want to finish as high as possible. Watford this, you know this season. So that'll be a tough game. Everton away Everton. as well will be tough. You saw you know what they did to Chelsea the other day. They gave Liverpool a tough game as well. There's some some very tough games coming up away from home. They are tough games, but you also have to look at our form as well. We're now coming into form. We're not conceding because before Arsenal and clean sheets was like oil and water. That weren't happening again mm. today. We can see mm. it again, but that's but in the league, we're looking more consistent, we're looking more strong. The squad is coming together and everybody's coming back. As as overall, the fitness of everybody else is good. So, yeah. coming to the top end of the season, we're in a good position. And as I said, I said from the beginning, I said we finished third anyway, and I still believe that anyway.